so I am doing a challenge on YouTube for the month of April and maybe partly going into May. I'm going to be doing really short videos, kind of just sharing what's going on because I realize, um, I don't know, it's just, it would be fun to share just random things around the homestead, the farm, the garden. Um, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and I thought it would be fun to take you along for the month of April, maybe into May. Um, I thought of my son and I, he has a YouTube channel, LJ Outdoors, so he's going to be trying this challenge to five videos a week. Ah, that's going to be really hard, but I'm going to keep them very short, the videos very short, and just going to use my phone, which I know is pretty crappy. I'm not going to be doing much fancy editing, it's just going to be real life stuff. So, welcome to the madness. All right, should be a good time. Coming to do a quick lamb check and trying to get my ducks in a row. Uh, there's two more ewes left to lamb and I expect it to be somewhat soon, but sometimes I can feel that way for quite a while. See how these babies are doing. You guys are doing awesome. Look at I got the rainbow. I'm so blessed this year. The freezer is going to be so full. And I'm going to have a lot of wool for my customers. Which is so exciting. Look at you little boy. You're doing good. I just let that. That's the one that was born yesterday. And I just let him out this morning. And there's the other one, the twin. They're doing awesome. How you doing, big mama? You ready to go? Oh, both of you look like you're ready to lamb. Back end check. Nothing yet, but it's gonna be soon. Good job, guys. Look at all these babies. Woo! I don't know if we've ever had this many lambs this close, all in age. That's pretty exciting. Look at that garden, it's still buried. There is no gardening happening for a while. Sassy! Pearl, you're sneaking your jacket, stop that. Well, hello. Well, hello. Look at these trying to steal. Hi, Anna. Jade's gonna chase her away. Cinnamon is full of vinegar. He's already doing the ram sniff. Curling his lip back. Smelling what potential opportunities are out there. Alright, so my phone died. But anyways, so I am here potting up uh, my Icelandic poppies. And as you can see, they sprouted pretty well. I mean, not perfectly, but I'm happy. By the time I pluck out all of those teeny tiny tiny little seedlings it's going to be quite 
a large bed of big poppies. So that's super exciting, and I'm using the soil blockers for the first time this year. I got these from the Gardener's Workshop online. I really like her website. I've ordered seeds from her in the past, too. And I think I rub dirt over my camera because it's really blurry and just terrible quality, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so it's it's been a real fun day of just visiting, drinking coffee, and potting up lots of plants that honestly look terrible right now. But I grew these last year, and they looked like this last year at this time of year. And in the summer when I transplanted them, they looked amazing. So sometimes looks are very deceiving, thankfully, because these look really sad. But that's how Icelandic poppies are. I think people think they're difficult to grow. They're not. You just have to grow them in the right conditions. It's, it's like that with basically any plant. So anyways, I don't know if I'll be adding on more to this video or not. If I don't, I hope you have a swell day. And I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care. We'll see ya.